Hi everybody, welcome to Verbling class. My name is Lorraine and I'm from Canada. And today the topic is going to be about procrastination. And I know I'm very guilty of procrastination and perhaps you know what that word already means or maybe not. So if you don't, come and join us and you can learn all about how we all procrastinate. So, um, yeah, here we go. We've got some people coming in. Hello, Fernando. Fernando, are you there? Fernando, make sure that when you come into the classroom, you uh, unmute your microphone. Just check it and make sure because sometimes it mutes and I can't hear you at the moment. And I'm waiting for Natalia to join us. Okay. Anyway, um, to join this class, you need a ticket. And if you click on Get Tickets at the top of the uh, Verbling page, it will show you uh, two different ways to get tickets for the class. You can invite friends to join us here at Verbling and take classes. And you can also purchase tickets for um, various amounts, depending on whether you get uh, one ticket or uh, 15, um, you can pay anywhere from two to three dollars per ticket. And we have Natalia. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. And you? I'm very good. Thank you. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Okay. So do you procrastinate? Uh, what? <laughs> I said, do you procrastinate? Oh, no. No, you're not a procrastinator. Okay, good. Uh, we have a Rodolfo. Hello. Rodolfo, are you there? Hello. Yes, Hi. I'm here. Good, excellent. Where are you from, Rodolfo? I'm from Mexico. From Mexico. Wonderful. Welcome. Nice to have you in the class. Thanks. And then we have Victor. Hello, Victor. Hello. I'm from Spain. Have... From Spain, excellent. Your video is very clear. I can see you very well. Very nice. Good. Welcome to class. Thank you. And then we have Jose. Hello, Jose. Hello. How are, me. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. I, I would like to practice English. Wonderful. That's great. You've come to the right place. Okay. And Fernando? Fernando, are you there? Oh, that's better. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Hello. I'm very well. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Excellent. Where are you from, Fernando? Mexico. Good. Mexico. Lovely place. Yeah, okay, thanks. welcome. And then we have Ileana. Hi. Am I saying, hello, am I saying hello. your name right? Ileana? Yes. yes okay. And where are you from? I'm from Italy. From Italy. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to get started since I think, oh, we've got one more person joining. We'll wait for that person and then we'll get started. Abdullah, hello. Abdullah, are you there? Abdullah, I saw you briefly. There you are. Make sure your um, microphone is not on mute. Yeah, I'm here. There you are. Welcome. Nice okay. to have you again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, I have put the um, worksheet in uh, the Google Drive. It's called Procrastination. I'm not sure if you can see it there. I will also post the link in the uh, chat window. There it is. And we'll work together on the screen share. So in some way you should be able to follow along with the materials. So 
just before we get started, how many people already know what procrastination means? Abdullah, what do you think it means? Uh, sorry, I was what? What do you think the word procrastination means? Mm. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. That's a good answer. Eliana, do you know? Um, it's when you want to do something, that, like, actually when you have to do something, and uh, like um, you try to avoid it, like uh, you try to delay it. Okay. So do you get it done or not? Um, no, at the end, no. <laughs> you don't get it done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando, what about you? What do you think procrastination means? Mm, I just read the definition, and it, I ah. think it means like when you have to do something, but you you don't do it because it's boring, and you keep I don't know the word. It's you do it like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed the last thing you said, Fernando. Fernando, are you there, or did we lose you? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, when you have to do something, but you don't do it because it's like boring, or, or I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so we'll go to. Oops, what did I do with my? There it is. I'll go to the screen share now, and we'll get started. So, let's see. Maybe I can make this a little bigger too. Uh, zoom. Uh, visible. There we go. Okay. Can everybody see the screen share? Or maybe I should say, is there somebody who cannot see the screen share? No, oh, good. Okay. So, procrastinate. To keep delaying something that must be done, often because it's unpleasant or boring. Now, I procrastinate, and my task that I hate doing is housework. So I will find so many other things to do because I don't want to have to do my housework. So, Victor, is there something that you avoid doing because you don't like to do it? Homework. Pardon? Uh, homework. If I, uh... Homework. Yeah, if my homework. English teacher uh, gives me homework, I try <laughs> to procrastinate it. <laughs> okay, yes, that's very common. Homework yeah. is a lot like housework. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, Rodolfo, what do you procrastinate about? I procrastinate about many things. Uh, homework, housework, shopping, uh, looking for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you do instead of these things that you should do? Uh, I read news. Okay, you read the news instead? All right, good, thank you. Natalia, what about you? What do you procrastinate about? Uh, I procrastinate about uh, housework too. Yeah, it's it's a <laughs> a thankless job. <laughs> okay. And and cooking. Cooking? Yes. Yes. What do you do instead of cooking? You have uh, to eat. <laughs> my husband cooks. <laughs> Ah, okay. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> if my husband cooked, I would procrastinate about eating too, or about cooking too. <laughs> Great, thank you. Jose, hello. Hello. What do you procrastinate about? I procrastinate practice more English for improve my English better. Ah, oh. but you're here? You're in the class, so that's yes. good. You're not procrastinating today. 
All that advice. Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Fernando, what about you? Mm, I procrastinate mm, but so many things. For example, uh, doing my homework, uh, wash the dishes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. A lot of and and what do you do um, instead of the things you are supposed to be doing, like your homework? What do you mm -hmm. do instead? I prefer to watch television or I don't know, play video games or hang okay. out with my friends. Okay, good, excellent. Uh, Ileana, what about you? What do you procrastinate about? Um, I procrastinate about. Uh, Housework too, cooking okay. too. That <laughs> 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 we decided to start cooking difficult dishes and so on, and uh, practicing sports. Okay, good. Um, and we have Andres. Hello, Andres. Are you there? Andres, make sure that your microphone is not on mute. Okay. Alpha, are you talking today or just in the chat? Okay. All right. Do you procrastinate, Alpha? Okay. All right. So uh, let's go back to our screen share. We all procrastinate. We can see we all procrastinate about very similar things. Let's take a look at some phrasal verbs that have to do with some of the things we procrastinate about. Uh, I'm going to get Victor, please, if you could read, uh, let's read the um, definitions first. Read definition A for me, please. Definition of procrastinate. Definition A on the uh, worksheet here. Can you see it on the screen share? Ah, okay, okay. Avoid doing something that you dislike or don't feel comfortable about. Okay, good, thank you. Your uh, microphone is popping in and out, so we don't hear you clearly, but I think we all heard what you said. Rodolfo, can you read uh, definition B, please? Yes, be most influenced by. Okay, being most influenced by. Good, thank you. And Natalia's uh, C? Complete. Good. And Jose D? Continue doing something. Super, thank you. And Fernando E? Delay, postpone. Can you say that again? Uh, it was hard to hear you. Delay, postpone. Postpone, yes, good, thank you. Uh, Ileana, F? Take further action connected with something. Okay, good. And Andres, are you there? Yes, can you hear me oh, now? Good. Yes, I can hear you now, that's great. Have you been following along? You can uh, read number one for us. Number one, if you put off cleaning the kitchen, I'll be more work for you later. Okay. So the phrasal verb put off has a meaning, one of these meanings on the right-hand side. Which one do you think is the most um, appropriate definition for put off. E. Okay. Who said that? <laughs> when uh, when you're telling me who you said that, you need to say your name because everybody in the class is me. <laughs> uh, okay, no I <laughs> Oh, okay. Me, Victor. Okay, Victor. All right, so E is correct, delay or postpone. If you delay cleaning the kitchen, it will be more work for you later. Okay, so E is the correct answer. Excellent, thank you. 
so Victor, can you read number two, please? Okay. Peter would never shy away from hard work. I'm sorry, by uh, <laughs> I lost yeah. my connection, so I'm back. I'm sorry, <laughs> so let's go back to the screen share. Whoops, did I do with my document? Did you hear me? I can hear you. Peter would never shy away from hard work. Okay. So, what does shy away? What is the definition of shy away? Anybody can answer here. Delay oh. oh. So Rodolfo, a. what a um then okay. the letter E. Okay, never shy away is A. Yes. Avoid doing something that you dislike or don't feel comfortable about. Okay. Does everybody understand that? That makes sense? Good. Okay. Natalia, if you have any questions, please just ask them, okay? No, I haven't because I did uh, this exercise and now I go. I I'm sorry? I did this exercise and now I go. I, I'm not. I'm asking you to read number three, so I'm confused oh. by what you're ask, uh, answering. If you could read number, number three. three. Yes. Uh, I can't get on with my homework with all that noise. Uh, okay. I think uh, it's D. Continue doing something. Yes, that's correct. Get on with is to continue doing something. Good. Okay, and uh, Jose, number four. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Our choice of hotel will come down to money in the end. Okay, come down to, come down to. What do you think is the definition? I don't know. Okay, can anybody help him? B. Somebody else? Yes. B. 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 Yes, I'm B. hearing B. Be most influenced by. So our choice of hotel will be most influenced by money in the end because maybe I don't have much. Okay, good. Uh, Fernando, number five, please. Okay. I still have a lot of work to finish off. Okay, finish off. Which one do you think it is? Mm. C? I don't know. Yeah, C, complete. I still have a lot of work to complete. Good. And Eliana, six, yes. please. Everybody was surprised when we managed to follow up on his decision to stop smoking. F. Okay. Follow up on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be. Uh. I'm sorry, did you um, answer because I didn't hear it? Um, it's F. F, yes, good. Take further action connected with something. Excellent. Okay. So let's just take a look at these questions, and then we're going to read the article to find the answers to them. 
So let's just uh, read the questions so we know what they're going to be. Andres, can you read number one, please? Why do we do enough tasks according to Dr. Steele? Good, excellent. Victor, oops, can you yeah. read number two, please? What are the four most popular types of tasks that people delay doing? Okay, good, thank you. And Rodolfo, number three. Rodolfo, turn on your microphone. Okay, we're not hearing you with Rodolfo. Uh, I can read it. Uh, well, I'll go on to Natalia. We're trying to keep it in order here. So, Natalia, number yeah. three, please. Uh, what are the benefits of procrastinating less? Good, thank you. And Jose, number four. How does our brain make us procrastinate? Good. Uh, Ileana, number five. How does telling your friends about your deadlines make you less likely to procrastinate? Good. And uh, we have Bernardo. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Welcome. Great. Uh, the number six is... Number six. Yes. Uh, what other procrastination prevention strategies are mentioned in, in the article? Excellent. Okay, so let's take a look at this article. And we're going to get Andres to start. Please read um, the title, the subtitle, and paragraph one. Subtitle and paragraph one. From paperwork to paying the bills, we are all guilty of putting off tasks we know we can avoid. But confronting the real reason for procrastination can help us do this. Procrastination. Shall I go on? Yes, please. Do number one. Procrastination is in our genetic makeup why sh we shy away from all jobs, inventing reasons why we cannot get on with them, clicking refresh on Twitter until it's too late to do anything else. Some people, a fortunate minority, are able to get on with things. But what about what about the rest of us? Good, thank you. Okay, Victor, continue with uh, paragraph two, please. Okay, procrastination is putting things of despite knowing that it will make life harder and more stressful, says Dr. Pierce Steele, author of the procrastination equation. If these tasks were fun, we just do them now, but we put off what is difficult or unpleasant. Good, thank you. Rodolfo, can you continue with paragraph three, please? Yes. The most popular delayed task is housework, followed by dieting or fitness regimes, treating illness or going to the dentist, and working on your career or education. Good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Natalia, number four, please. Okay. You can put off anything, Dr. Still continues. We know we should be doing these things like saving for retirement or studying for exams. The fact is, the less people procrastinate, the more money they have, the better relationships they have, and the healthier they are. Good, thank you. And number five, Jose. Okay. Uh, uh, this is obvious for the couples who don't argue about whether anyone has repaired the toilet seat yet. For the young go getters who rise straight to the top at work. For the health freaks who simply go for that 
run instead of unless rescheduling it in their own heads. Okay, so this word here we pronounce freaks. 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 Freaks, yes. Freaks. Good. Freaks. All right. Uh, and number six, uh, Fernando. Okay. You have two decision making systems in your brain. Dr. Steele says one is responsible for the short term and the other deals with the future. It's responsible for our civilization. We bounce between long term goals and short term temptations. So we need goals that will translate our plans for the short term system. Good. Thank you. And number seven, Ileana. Consider writers. They set themselves targets and word counts per day, per day translating and up and up abstract, seemingly endless task into something concrete with easily measured progress. Dr. Steele recommends such techniques. Telling other people about your task a month before the deadline makes it much more likely that the task will be completed. The benefit is that you avoid the embarrassment of not following up uh, on something people are, are expecting you to do. For example, telling all your friends you are going to stop smoking makes you more likely to do it. Good, thank you. And uh, Bernardo, uh, number eight, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, procrastination ultimately comes down to planning, which, if you're not careful, becomes procrastination in itself. But it's worth making sure you have everything in place to improve your strategies. For example, a separate computer, log on for work and for play. Uh, the former with a playing background, fewer applications, unlimited internet access. Okay, good, thank you. And uh, Victor, okay. number nine. Novelist Jonathan Franzer famously blocks the internet connection on his computer with glue to prevent him from procrastinating instead of writing. But there are programs available that will block your internet access for as long as you specify. Just give the password details to your more strong will partner. Victor Hugo, the 19th century French poet and novelist, often wrote Nate, ordering his valet to hide his clothes until he had finished writing. These days, this seems less effective. There are plenty of things you can do at a computer next. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rodolfo, number yes. 10. Successful people don't pretend they don't procrastinate, Dr. Still says. People who pretend they, w they have willpower are less successful. Instead, plan for procrastination. Make your work environment a temple of productivity by removing distractions. Okay, good, thank you. All right, so let's take a look for some words, just so it gives us some vocabulary. Uh, number one, Natalia, number one, can you read that and then see if we can find it? It's a phrase in paragraph one. Go ahead. Part of our um, genes or genes? Genes. 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 Genes, yes. <sighs> it's a phrase. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. It's in paragraph one. Maybe uh, our genetic makeup. Yes, genetic makeup. Oh, genetic sorry. makeup genetic. means that's genetic. yes, genetic makeup. It's part 
of our genes. Okay, so um, maybe I'll do it out here. Okay, good. Um, we have uh, Furkan. Furkan, are you there? <laughs> okay. I'll go on. I'll come back to you, okay? Fernando, can you do number two, please? Yes, it, it says boring. Okay, it's an adjective in paragraph one. What's the word? Okay, boring. Mm. Procrastination? No, I don't know. Mm. Procrastination doesn't mean boring. It means we're not going to do it right now because we find something better to do. But boring is an adjective, so this is going to be an adjective. What kind of no, I have no jobs? What kind of jobs do we shy away from? Read it in the first sentence. Go. No. Mm -hmm. We shy away from dull jobs. Yeah, dull. Dull is the word. It means boring. Dull, boring. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, Eliana, number three. Um, people who are very energetic and determined to be successful. Okay, so this is a plural noun, and we're going to find it in paragraph five. A plural noun. So, go getters. Uh, can yeah. you say that again? I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Yes, go getters, exactly. Go getters. Does everybody understand that? When people who are energetic and determined to be su su successful, we call them go-getters. They go out and they get what they want or what they need. So they don't wait, they just go and get it. We call them go-getters. Good. And Bernardo, number four. Number four, people who are obsessed with keeping fit and healthy. Okay, it's a plural noun again in paragraph five. Uh, that will be for health freaks. Yeah, health freaks. Okay. Like me. <laughs> Are you a health freak? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the word freak. Does anybody know what freak means? It, it means weird. Okay, it is like weird. The original, um, the base of the word was something that is, it is not normal. So if a child were born with six fingers instead of five on one hand, that would be a freak. It would be somebody who um, doesn't look like the normal uh, way you're supposed to look. So sometimes you'll hear about um, a cow that gives birth to a calf with two heads, that's a freak. So this now is, is changed a little bit. When we call somebody a health freak, it means that they're more concerned about doing things for their health than the average person is. So maybe they exercise every single day and maybe they eat exactly the right foods at the right time, they're called health freaks. Okay. All right. The next one is Victor, number five. Yeah. Things that you want to have or do, but that you know you should not have or do. Okay. So I this think, is a plural noun in paragraph six. Yeah. I think it's temptations. Yes. Temptations. Oops, I should spell it right. Temptations. There we go. Good. Uh, 
Rodolfo, number six. Yes. Mentally strong, determined not to change your position. Okay, this word we say determined. 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 Yes, good. And it's Let an adjective in paragraph nine. Strong willed. Okay, that sounds right. Okay, yes, strong willed. Good. Natalia, number seven. A male servant of someone who is very rich. Okay, a noun in paragraph nine. My image is blurry, right? Pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that the microphone was muted. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I need help. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Does anybody know uh, what the word is we're looking for? It's a noun. Valet. Valet, yes. Valet. It looks like valet. And, and if it were an English word, that's how we would pronounce it. But it is a French word. Valet is a French word. So we don't pronounce the T on the end. So it's valet. Good, okay. that's the right one. And it just means a servant, a male servant, usually. Good, all right. Uh, next, we have Eliana. Determination, yeah. Determination, ability to control your looks and desires. Okay, a noun in paragraph 10. Mm -hmm. Willpower. Okay, good. Willpower. So who here has willpower? Anybody got willpower? Uh -uh. You want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, willpower is very hard. Mine is very low. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, do a little bit of discussion. So we have some practice uh, speaking some of these words. So the first one, what tasks or resolutions do you need willpower to accomplish? So Bernardo, what would you need willpower to accomplish? Uh, to get up, to wake up. Okay. That, so <laughs> that, that's it's enough. hard for you to get up in the morning? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So how do you do it? How do you manage to arrange your life? so you can get up in the morning? I try to schedule an alarm, a really annoying alarm to get up. <laughs> okay, good. So you don't have anybody else to wake you up? No. No? Okay. Good, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Eliana, what about you? What task or resolutions do you need willpower for? To go to work in the morning. Okay, so again, getting up or just getting out the door? No, just the idea that I have five hours with the children. <laughs> five <laughs> hours with the children? Yes. That is hard for you to do? No, actually I love my job, but sometimes it's a little bit heavy because we do 28 uh, like students, so it's quite difficult every day. You are a teacher? Yes. <laughs> Ah, what age uh, are the children you teach? This year, uh, three years old. Oh, little ones. Yes. Little, little ones. Okay. Yeah, I would need willpower to get up and go and do that too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Natalia, what about you? What do you need willpower for? Um, don't be late on my work. <laughs> Okay, so um, what kinds of things do you do so that you are not late? Mm. What is your strategy? 
I I must uh, uh, to prepare uh, for my work um, um, earlier. Okay. So, do you need to get up um, more than two hours before you leave to go to work? Mm. No, mm. I don't know how. To okay, say it. that's all right. Don't worry about it. I um, I, pre I prepare I prepare to my work a very long time. Okay, <laughs> good. All right, super. Uh, Rodolfo, what about you? What do you need yeah. willpower to accomplish? Well, to accomplish. Maybe to uh, finish my career, where even though if I get bad grades or even though if um, I, it's sometimes hard for me to study and work at the same time, mm -hmm. and also to stay firm with my decisions and don't let uh, other other people this people's decisions. Uh, affect me. Yeah, very good. Okay, excellent. Good. Thank you. And Victor, what about doing, you? What tasks? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm doing a diet. You need a the, diet? To, yeah, you need to control uh, what you eat. Okay, uh, and do you need to, uh, you, do you need to diet yourself? Uh, yeah, I, yes. uh, I'm doing a diet for definition. So oh. I need to count my calories uh, per day uh, wow. and uh, try not to... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's see. Number two. What other behaviors are in our genetic makeup? That's an interesting question. What do you think is meant by that question? What kind of behaviors are in our genetic makeup? Anybody got an idea? I think that take the easy way for everything is on our genetic makeup. Okay, yeah, I think so too. I think we're always trying to find the angle so that we can make things easier. Anything else? What do you think, Ileana? I don't really know. I was thinking before, but I don't know. Okay. N Natalia, do you have an idea about that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Rodolfo? Uh, I know a little thing about that uh, because I saw in my class of genetics that yes. some genes uh, can affect our uh, behavior. Uh, for example, uh, scientists have uh, have seen that some genes can make people kinder, kinder, more kind. Yes, more kind. Yes. Uh, and also, people that express some type of genes can be more aggressive or uh, yeah, have different behaviors than others. And also, uh, some people can be more optimist and okay. be more successful because good. that. Yeah, okay, those are really good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Victor, do you have anything to add? No, I'm a really struggle. Okay. All right, so describe an occasion when you couldn't resist temptation. Oh boy. I can tell you one right now because I just finished my lunch and I couldn't resist having some cookies after lunch. So I too am trying to count the calories and that was not a good use of calories. So um, what about you, Ileana? Mm, for example, when I have to study and somebody calls me to go out, then I go out and then don't study. Okay, so you went out instead of studying. Aha. Yes. 
Okay. I'm not a good teacher, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think that's true. <laughs> Something tells me you are a very good teacher. However, we have lives, too. <laughs> very good. Um, okay, and Natalia, what about you? I can resist temptation every day. Um, I, I love chocolate very much, but mm. I, uh, I have an allergy on on the chocolate. Oh but <laughs> I, 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 I eat, I eat it every day. Okay, and when um, what is the allergy that you have? What does it do to you? Mm. How does the chocolate make you feel? <clears throat> My face is red <laughs> after ah, chocolate. Okay, <laughs> okay good. Um, Rodolfo, uh, how about you? Uh, well, as I told you, uh, I can stop reading news on the internet. Ah. Okay, and so. I just usually spend many hours per day reading news. <laughs> you know what um, you are called in English? Uh, no. A, new, a news junkie. Oh, <laughs> a okay. A news junkie. <laughs> okay, so thanks. Do you, do you know what junkie refers to? Yes. It, yes. Like some th someone that needs a uh, substance or. Yes. Uh, yes. Like yes. Uh, on heroin or something, they are a junkie. Uh, it should be news junkie, not new junkie. News junkie. Okay. Yeah. So you have an addiction to the news. So we would call you a news junkie. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay. And Victor? What about you? An occasion when you couldn't resist temptation? Yeah, some occasions, um, rainy days, for example, I prefer to stay at home than to go class or uh, to go gym or go run. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. And you can't resist that temptation, eh? <laughs> Um, wow, we've got some noise going on. If your background is noisy, please mute your microphone. Bernardo, are you still there? Yes, my camera. Yeah, it, it's got broken. pretty colors there. <laughs> what kind of tasks do you find dull? Really, really boring. The most boring thing you have to do. Ah, that's a hard question. I really don't know, perhaps cleaning out my closet? <laughs> okay, that sounds boring. Although, who knows what you might find. <laughs> oh, look at this. I haven't seen this for a long time. My favorite pair of pants. What happened? Oh, oh another one could be, well, it's, it's the same, actually. Get rid of uh, all things. Okay, yeah. All right, sure. Eli Eliana, what about you? Mm -hmm. To tidy up. Tidying up, so yes. housework, yeah. yeah. Okay, and I find that dull as well. I hate ironing. Yes, Does me anybody too. still iron clothes? I try to buy permanent press and then I don't have to iron them. Ironing is very, very boring. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Nata yeah. Natalia, what about you? What task do you find particularly boring? Um, uh, it uh, work with um, documents. Uh, I, uh, I had uh, a lot of this work at my uh, last job and I hate uh, to work <laughs> with documents. So did you quit that job and get a different job? Did you quit the job you hated? Or did the job end? Because you said in your last job. You do uh, not do this now? <laughs> do you work with documents now? No, 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 no. I don't. Not anymore. Okay. Good. Thank you. 
Rodolfo, what kind of task do you find particularly dull? Uh, uh, to do, no, how can I say tramits or, no, sorry, when I, well, accounting, Yes. and also uh, when you go to a, a, to a government place and yes. you, you give them some papers about you and to do that kind of things. Okay, all right. I don't know how to say that. In Spanish we say trámite. Or transaction. Eh? Transactions? Transactions, yes, okay. All right, transactions, that's good. I okay, understand I, that. I hate to, to do that kind of things, to make, to stay in the line and right. uh, wait a lot, of, a lot of, spend a lot of time there. Yeah, waiting. Okay, good, thank you, Rodolfo. Victor, what about you? The tasks that you particularly hate. Yeah, I think uh, you uh, you always have uh, the documents uh, from work is uh, to read is always. Oh, okay. Boring. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Never, yeah, never they, is this. They send you a document. It's a hundred pages long, and it's so yeah. boring, boring, boring. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I you can't those leave. Days. <laughs> really, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this last question, do you know any go-getters or health freaks? I think we already have a health freak in our class, but in your life, uh, let's see, uh, Bernardo, do you know any health freaks or go-getter? Huh, I think that my mom is a go-getter. Ah, yeah, she actually is, yes. Okay, in what way is she a go-getter? Um, personal matters and professional matters. She actually just finished uh, her master's degree. Oh, wow. Yes. So when you think of your mother, do you think that she procrastinates? Yeah, probably, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, perhaps she... Didn't have enough time to do it. Okay, but it sounds to me like if your mother is a go-getter, then yeah, she definitely. cannot spend any time procrastinating. She is a person who just gets things done. Don't wait, just do it. Is that what she is like? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Eliana, what about... Uh, you. Do you know anybody who is a go-getter? What are they like? Go-getter? Me. Me. Because, like, um, I'm in this way. For example, I study a lot, and uh, if I have a goal, I have to reach it, and uh, nobody can stop me, so I'm in this way. Okay, excellent. Yeah. All right. You're the go-getter. That's really yes. good. So, uh, for most things, then, you don't procrastinate most of the time you go and do what has to be done. Yes. Yes, good, okay, super. Natalia, what about you? Do you know somebody who is a go-getter or a health freak? Mm, I don't know health freaks, but uh, I think that uh, go-getter uh, is me. Okay, um, why? Uh, because I I have a lot of energy for my work. Uh, I try to. Uh, I always try to find something new and interesting for my work. I'm a teacher because okay, I'm a teacher. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, yes, I know. Um, and uh, I always uh, develop uh, myself. Okay, good. So, another go-getter. Yes. Rodolfo? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I'd say, I'd say uh, my parents are also go-getters. 
Uh, okay. Well, I th I think they well they are always working. My mother, for example, uh, doesn't stop doing uh, anything. Well, she she rests, but at night only. Uh, the other part of the day, she's always working, and my okay. father and also. What does she do? Oh uh, well, uh, she is. Uh, house she does have she works okay, in the so she, oh she looks <laughs> after her home yeah uh, yeah but and then she, 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 uh, she no, cooks <laughs> she cooks she irons the clothes of uh, everyone in the house and then she goes to for my brother in the school at the school to get okay. to get him and she uh, cleans all the house. She also goes to another uh, house we have, and okay. she does gorditas there. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah she is a busy lady. Wow. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. That's that's a good example of a go-getter. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations uh, to your mom, Rodolfo. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, do you know any go-getters or health freaks? In my case, I'm a bit health freak. You're the <laughs> and, health freak. Uh, yeah. And some so of my friends kind, that, yeah. What kinds of things that do you do that uh, shows you are a health freak? What do you do? I try to do a lot of uh, exercise. Like okay. running, swimming, go gym, uh, and uh, doing a diet. <laughs> okay. And you have a special diet, you said? Uh, not not uh, special. I only uh, take care of, my, of the calories and try to eat healthy. Okay, good. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is um, I wanted to talk about the suggestions that were in the article. So some of the suggestions uh, for how not to procrastinate. Um, so if, can anybody think of any of the suggestions that were given for how different people uh, stop themselves from procrastinating? Uh, Bernardo, do you remember one? Uh, about the paint the crazy uh, artist to draw or to paint naked. <laughs> okay, actually he was a writer. And he okay. used to write, write naked because if he didn't, he would walk out and go someplace. And this way, if his valet took his clothes, he wouldn't be able to leave the house. Yeah, that, that yeah. would be very helpful because I can get, uh, I can get a very, I don't know how to say it, puedo ser muy distraído, I can be so, I, I really don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay. Somebody help me. <laughs> what was the uh, suggestion, Rodolfo? To get distracted. Oh, distracted, yeah. yes. To get distracted, okay. so okay. That, that will be very helpful for me. So, take your clothes and you can't leave the house, okay. Yeah. Um, Ileana, what about you? Um, I think that it's a good idea to share your deadline with, uh, with other people, so like you can respect it uh, better. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, so if you want to do something, um, then let it be known that you are planning to do that. Uh, so I remember once I was writing um, a book. Uh, I, I've never been published, but I wanted to write a book. So I told everybody that I was writing a book. And then, of course, every once in a while they'd say, how's that book coming along, Lorraine? So then I would have to write. And I did finish it. <laughs> I did book finish about it that what? way. Oh, it was just a novel. It huh. was uh, it was about a lady who um, 
who had a baby for her best friend because her best friend could not have a baby. And yeah, it was <laughs> it was interesting. Um, Rodolfo, what about for you? What do you think would be a good suggestion from that article for you? Uh, for me? A good suggest yeah. suggestion for me? It's to uh, well try to focus more on my on my tasks uh, on all uh, all the work that I have to do and okay. also to make some notes uh, well organize the my tasks so okay. I can handle them in a more proper way. Okay, so get yourself organized so you can go task by task. That's good. Yes. Breaking it down into smaller chunks instead of one great big thing. Um, yes. Make it a little smaller. Good. Victor, very quickly, we've got one more minute. So yeah. anything in that uh, article that's helpful for you? Um, I guess that it's important to plan a routine and establish yeah. establish uh, establishing some targets and try to achieve it. achieve that. Okay, good, great, thank you. We're we've run out of time now, so I thank you all for joining me on this uh, lesson, and I hope that it was useful for you. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in another class. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.